My teeth just fell out a little. Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> it is... Uh. Oh, I'm so burpish today. It is 5 a.m. on Friday for me. And I just got done doing a live stream on Instagram with Jade. Um, and if you don't know who that is, then where have you been? Just kidding. She's amazing. I love her. Um... Anyway, and I finished the live stream and I'm about to go to bed and I'm like, oh my gosh, I did not even make a video for tonight. So I just want to make a really quick video and I guess I'll just tell you about my day because I had a really good day and I'm really proud of myself. And then I'm also going to show you at the end of this, I'm going to show you some pretty Christmas cards that I used to make. Um, so stay tuned for that and I want you guys to tell me below which ones are your favorite um, just because I'm curious and I'm really conceited. So yeah, okay. So my day today was busy and good. I cleaned for three hours. <laughs> I deep cleaned my bedroom, my bathroom. I took a shower finally. I washed my hair, I shaved. I, that's why my hair looks like a frizz ball right now because I didn't blow dry it or anything. Um, I did a lot today and I did it because I didn't want to binge and purge again and I didn't so I'm very proud of myself. Um, I was just talking about this on the live stream but I'm finding and it, I think I've talked about this before it's really I have a weird thing where if I count the exact days or the exact whatever um, it I kind of it's kind of like people don't want to like say if something's going really well because they don't want to jinx it you know that thing that people do that's how it is for me too. And so like, I don't like to think about the number of days, but I do know that it's been almost a week since I've been and purged. And I do know that I'm feeling good and I've been taking vitamins and I've been praying for myself the last couple days. And Danny and I have been praying together and we've been reading scriptures together and working on our spirituality together. And it's been really great. We've been connecting in other ways as well, which is really great. Um, and I'm just feeling really good right now. Uh, tomorrow, or today I guess, Friday, is a, a really fun party tonight. My Aunt Linda makes the best sugar cookies in the entire world, and she makes them for our Christmas party, which is Saturday. Um, and a couple of years ago, she started asking people to come help her decorate the cookies, because she makes like, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of them. So I've never gone to the cake, to the cookie decorating party, but tonight I'm going to a Friday. And so I'm going to vlog that and it's going to be really fun. And you guys get to see all the fun cookies and decorations and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And then Saturday is my family party. I'm trying to think what else I can tell you right now. I feel bad that I didn't make a video today. But again, it would have been boring because I was just cleaning. And But I got so much done and I'm really proud of myself. I, pa I almost passed out a couple times. I'm definitely going through some withdrawals. Uh, and this happened the last time I stopped binging and purging. I went through withdrawals. Um, my body is so used to eating so much food that even like... Even though I was throwing it up, my body was used to having more food in me at one point. And so I know this, my doctors told me this, and I feel it, that even when I was binging and purging, when I would purge, I wouldn't purge up all of the food or all of the calories anyway, or all of the fat or whatever. Like a lot of that stuff sticks to you. That's why most bulimics tend to not be underweight because it doesn't, you know, you're still like holding down calories and fat all the time. Um, and so for me to stop binging, my body is in a little bit of withdrawal because I'm not uh, consuming or holding in as much fat and calories. 
And so my body feels weaker. I feel the shakes. I feel like I've been eating, like all, I've been eating little meals throughout the day, but it's not enough because my body is used to having way more fat and way more calories all the time. And so I know this happened the last time I did this and it's normal and it's weird to think that you can go through withdrawals when you're bulimic, but you can. Um, so all day I've just been really, really sick. Like I've just been trying to focus on cleaning and keeping some food down, but I've been very dizzy. I've almost passed out a couple times. Uh. I'm so sorry. I'm so burpish today. Um, and I don't know if you can even tell, but I feel completely drained. Like I feel sick. I feel like I have the flu. Um, like in my head, like I feel so nauseous and my, like my equilibrium, is that the word, is off or something. I don't know, but um, yeah. So anyway, I know this will pass as long as I keep going, which I plan to. Um, I've been doing a lot of praying for myself over the past couple days, which is really weird <laughs> for me. <laughs> Cause it's been a few years since I've done that. No, it's been like a decade. No, it's been longer. It's been a long time. Uh, it's hard for me to pray for myself constantly. Like I've been doing, and I've been saying all these like little prayers in my heart all throughout the day. Like, please help me keep down this banana and peanut butter. And can you please help me keep down the soup? And, um, please help me not binge and purge please help me to have the strength to clean so that i won't binge and purge like all these little prayers for myself that i would have never even tried before so i'm very proud of myself and i appreciate your guys's support on yesterday's video and it was so much encouragement in the comments and i appreciate that so much i'm so grateful so yeah so Physically, I'm not great, but mentally, guys, I am feeling good and accomplished and proud, and I'm ready to have a fun weekend. So I'll see you tomorrow for the cookie decorating party. And um, for now, enjoy these Christmas cards that I used to make for, my, for the ladies in my church when I lived with my mom. And I was in that ward with her, that, that church area, I guess with her, um, I would make cards, Christmas cards for the ladies in the ward. And, um, I took a bunch of pictures of them. So I thought I'd share them with you because that's something I'm going to start doing again as another way to distract myself from binging and purging. I want to get back into making cards. So, so you're about to see a montage of the cards, um, but I'll sign out first, but be sure to tell me below which cards you like the best and, um, just cause I want to know and that would cheer me up to read the, that type of comment. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you guys tomorrow and remember forever and always that you are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. I look amazing.